been having problems with our cat scratching around in the litter box at, uh, at around 3 a.m. So uh, we are going to try to solve that problem by reducing the sound it creates. And uh, our first try is to try that product you, you see on TV called Flex Seal. It's a liquid rubber that you can pour in and watch it solidify and hopefully turn into something that resembles rubber and does not create sound when scratched. So let's see how this goes. I, I took the bottom half of the, of the uh, litter box and I sanded it down with uh, 60 grit sandpaper. And now I'm just gonna vacuum it out and wipe it out. And in the next step here, we'll pour in the Here we the have flex, the flex seal. seal. Um, I have about a pint of it, looks like 16 ounces. We're gonna see how far that goes. I got this on Amazon. I'll drop a link in the video description. And uh, yeah, pretty easy. I'll pop that open with a screwdriver and basically just, just dump it in there until uh, it looks like it makes a decent uh, coating. And then uh, it recommends waiting between, uh, between coats. So, so I'm not gonna apply it too thick on the first run. Um, this can will cover about 19 square feet, I believe. So, um, I'll just divide that into whatever I think this litter box footprint is and, uh, apply that many coats. Here we go. All right. And here's the moment of truth. I got the, uh, can lid off and I'm just going to dump a, wow, that is pretty thick. I was hoping that would be a little thinner. So it would uh, kind of self-level in there, but that's not happening. So maybe I'll try to get a paintbrush and smooth that out. All right, so I have an old disposable paintbrush. I'm gonna try smoothing this around. That actually works pretty well. I'm gonna do that. And I can tell already this might just do the job as far as scratching pan goes. And I'll just keep doing this until it's all covered on the bottom and maybe a couple inches up the sidewall since the cats tend to scratch the side for whatever reason that is. And here's our finished product. Again, I did that all with a disposable paintbrush. I did end up dumping the entire can in there for just one layer, one really thick layer. So I'm uh, I'm gonna see how long it takes to dry and I'll report back on that and also on its effectiveness. So it's been about 24 hours that we've uh, let this, uh, this uh, flex seal dry. And uh, as you can see, it's got kind of a rubbery texture and feel to it. So uh, we're gonna give it a test tonight and see how it goes. This is two days later. This is our finished product with litter in there. I honestly can say I haven't heard any scratching. Uh, it may just be that neither of the cats were uh, using the litter box at night, but um, I highly doubt it as it's a, a regular occurrence every night. So, um, so far, so good.